I'm Glenn Gerard, Head of Enterprise Sales at CDW Canada, and today we're going to talk about how to modernize without disruption. Legacy data centers can be brittle, inefficient, and unable to meet rising demand and user expectations. With this aging equipment, leases are about to expire, leaving IT leaders with a compressed timeline for modernization. What's more, legacy IT processes are slow and unresponsive compared to modern processes. That's why the traditional methods of designing and maintaining large monolithic systems are giving way to containerized microservices, which shorten development cycles. In this video, we'll take a closer look at app modernization and explain how CDW and our partners can help. App modernization is a process of aligning legacy software applications with current business needs and functionality. Legacy software may be based on outdated technologies, but in many cases, it remains critical to day-to-day -day operations. However, companies that cannot rely on complex legacy applications are looking for ways to move forward without disrupting their long-established business processes. The public cloud has several advantages for modern IT operations. Modernizing applications to the public cloud drives simplicity, efficiency, and improves services. There are a few reasons to consider app modernization. Simplification. Simplified, pay-as-you-use compute, storage, and networking that scales automatically is more reliable and cost-effective. Service improvement. Modernization streamlines software development and frees up data center ops personnel for high-value work. Modernization can free up capital, reduce infrastructure spending, and cut application development costs. Customers are increasingly expecting products and services to be delivered over the internet. App modernization enables these online experiences. The journey to modern applications can be broken down into six steps, or six R's as we like to say. Repurchase, or changing the licensing scheme for existing on-premise applications that are available in the cloud. Rehost, also known as lift and shift, moves applications from on-premises to the cloud without modification. For example, shifting on-premise virtual machines to the cloud. Replatform modifies existing applications to work in the cloud. And this is also known as lift, tinker, and shift. Refactor or re-architect to completely overhaul an application to adapt it to the cloud. Retire applications that are redundant or can be sunsetted. Retain critical on-premises applications that don't port well with cloud, won't get a performance improvement in the cloud, run on unsupported operating systems, or required on-premises for regulatory reasons. When deciding to modernize applications, it's important to keep these things in mind. First, think about how to start the modernization journey, which technologies to consider and why, and which use cases are best to start the journey with. Next, consider the level and depth of change management involved. For example, how does app modernization affect software development operations? The third thing is how to modernize without disrupting current services and operations. And finally, public cloud and data sovereignty. Consider data sovereignty and whether a public cloud solution meets requirements. Successful app modernization generally involves a cloud infrastructure provider, an app modernization specialist, a cybersecurity partner, and a company that can train IT specialists on new processes and technologies. CDW Canada has deep experience developing high-value solutions for Canadian organizations and has ongoing partnerships with VMware Tanzu, Palo Alto Networks, and Canada's leading cloud providers. To learn more about our application modernization partnership, download our white paper or speak with your account manager and visit us at cdw.ca slash app modernization.